Welcome back to the slowpoke build. I've turned the slowpoke upside down so I can align the wing with the center line of the fuselage. I've marked two points where I want to drill my holes through to the wing mount. But before I do that, I need to check that the wing is symmetrical around the center line of the fuselage. So I put a T-pin and some string in the tail of the fuselage. And I'm just going to use that to check to see how symmetrical my wing is in its position along the fuselage center line. And I'll make any minor adjustments based on my findings. So I'll just pick up a few of the key points here and here, and that looks pretty square. So I'm happy with the position of that, and I'll hold that in position. And I'm just going to drill uh, two pilot holes through the trailing edge of the wing and through to the wing mount. And I'll open up those holes after that, once I've removed the wing, so that they can take the wing mounting bolts. And that's the pilot holes done. So as you can see, the pilot holes have gone through to the wing mounting plate. And next, I need to think about putting in the wing mounting bolts. So you've got the bolt itself, which is six millimeter in diameter, and you've got the bolt mount, the nut on the other side, um, which is 10 millimeters in diameter on that one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open these holes out to 10 millimeters, and then I can offer that through from the other side. I'll then epoxy it into place and screw position it through the wing until it sets. Well, first, I need to very carefully drill these holes through. So I'm going to take my time about this and make sure that I don't punch through or push through too much wood. Both holes are now drilled. So I can take my wing mounting nut and that will pass through nicely. So all I have to do now is apply some quick drying epoxy on these surfaces and just around the neck of it there. And then I'll pass it through and I'll do both of them. Then I'll offer up the wing and then slowly and carefully screw the wing down through onto the nuts and then gently tighten. Then I'll do a last check to make sure that everything's straight and aligned, and I'll wait for it to cure off. I'm gonna use a five minute quick cure epoxy on this. Don't see any reason for using the 30 minute epoxy. I just squeeze out a small amount, equal amounts of both the epoxy resin and the catalyst. And I'll give them a good mix and apply them to the wing mounting bolt uh, nuts. Sorry. And I'm going to be fairly generous with this because I want to make sure that it's going to stay in position as all the surfaces have been covered. I need to make sure that the threads don't get any glue in them as well. So there's number one going in. And there's number two. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So next job 
just to bring back the wing. And I'm going to align the wing back in with the front formers, making sure it seats in there nicely. And then line it over where I drill my holes. Holes I've drilled here are six millimeter, of course, because my bolt is six millimeter. And that has to then thread through to the nut on the other side. And I'm holding the nut on the younger side to make sure that it's not spinning as I'm screwing it in. And I'll leave that there. Now I'll take the other one. And again, holding the nut. Screw that through. There we go. And we're both in. Happy with those. Just going to use my piece of string and just check my measurements again just to make sure that I'm happy. That looks great. I'm just going to check another point here. Yeah, that looks perfect. Right, so I'm going to leave it. It'll cure off and that will be the wing mounting bolts installed. And we're slowly but surely getting a completed aircraft. See you in the next video.